Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers, part of API programming series. In this video, we're going to learn about API product. Prerequisites for this video, you need an RPG Edge account, you can register at rpg.com slash edge and basics of RPG API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's talk about API packaging. Let's take a use case where you have API uh, with an endpoint slash hotels and API resources like get hotels and get hotel rooms and get hotel staff and uh, hotel reservations. We also have an API called casinos where we have uh, casino related APIs. Let's say we have an internal employee who would like to build an app by consuming all these APIs. And we also have a partner for to whom we would like to give access only to the specific APIs except the internal stuff like staff uh, of hotels and casinos. How do we solve this problem? Obviously giving access to each and every API individually is a uh, time taking process and difficult to manage. If we can package these APIs together as a product, it's easy to deliver the APIs to the different stakeholders. Today we have two different types of uh, stakeholders who would like to consume these APIs. Tomorrow let's say a few more are coming to the picture, then it will become very very complex to manage all these things. To solve this uh, problem, RPG has a concept called API product using which you can actually package the APIs. By creating a product called internal APIs and adding all these API resources, we can able to give access to the internal employees who would like to access all the APIs. We can create a different product called partner product and selectively give API resources access using this product. When the developers uh, create an app to get keys, they choose a product to which APIs and API resources are associated. To see RPG API product in action, let's uh, go to the RPG Edge org. Quickly go to the develop and API proxies. Quickly create a couple of API proxies to see API product in action. I'm gonna say it as a proxy one and I'm gonna add a mock target as an endpoint. Click on next, select authorization as a pass through and then choose the defaults to create a proxy. Let's quickly add uh, any verify API key policy to see API product in action. I'm going to add a verify API key policy to the proxy preflow on the request. Click on step to add the verify API key policy and select the policy from the security related policies. Save the proxy and then let's quickly uh, create uh, one more proxy and use a different endpoint. I'm going to create a new proxy called proxy2 and use uh, HTTP bin as a uh, target server. And then choose the defaults with pass through as an authorization. And then let's add the security similar to what we have done to proxy one. Click on develop, click on preflow, click on request uh, step, and then add verify API key policy. Save the proxy. Click on publish, click on API products to create a new API product. And then click on plus API product and then give it as a, a product demo. Then choose the environment as test, public, and then select the proxies. I'm gonna select proxy one and the revision as one, and then choose uh, all the resource paths inside it. And so I add a proxy two using uh, the API proxy button, and then save the product. Once you create the product, to create a generate keys, you need to create an app. For that, click on publish and then click on app and create a new app. I'm gonna call it as uh, demo app and uh, choose any developer. If there is no developer exists, then you can create a developer and then choose the product that we have created and then save. Once you create an app, you will get the keys using which you can actually call the APIs. I'm gonna use a demo app API key to make a call to the one of the proxy that we have created. Let's go back to the proxies. And when you access uh, the proxy one, uh, it's gonna say for not uh, uh, three uh, and failed to resolve my API key. Let's use the API key that we got from the app to which the API product is added. When you give the API key, you can see the response. So that's how API product works. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please um, feel free to post your questions on community.apache.com. Thank you.